Turning back to the throne speech the Liberals are set to deliver next week, which they say will lay out their path to economic recovery. According to Finance Minister Christian Freeland, the top priority is ensuring COVID-19 remains under control. Have a listen to what she said just a few short hours ago. The single most important economic policy of our government and the best thing we can do for our economy is to keep coronavirus under control. I can't emphasize that too much. Some people sometimes like to talk about a trade-off between good health policy and good economic policy. I could not disagree more strongly. I think if we continue to do the right things on the health front, that is the strongest foundation and support we can give to our economy. The government's response to COVID-19 has already pushed the deficit to an estimated $343 billion. That is expected to grow when the government announces its ambitious vision, as it terms it. How long can the feds keep those fiscal taps open? David Dodge is a former governor of the Bank of Canada and former deputy minister of finance. He's joining us right here in Ottawa. Hi, Mr. Dodge. Good pleasure to see you. Appreciate your time this evening. Hi, Rashi. I wanted to start off, I, I read through your uh, paper for Public Policy Forum as well as your op-ed in the Globe and Mail, and you argue uh, to a certain extent that uh, the deficit can be manageable, but should be, uh, you know, it, it has to go kind of hand in hand. It, it can be manageable with economic growth. I wanted to get your, before I asked about the deficit, I wanted to get your perspective on from what you think the biggest uh, threat or the biggest risk to economic growth is right now in this country. Well, essentially, we in this country now for a number of years have not been really investing, and so we've not been generating productivity growth, productivity growth. We need to support old people like me uh, as we retire, uh, our aging population. Um, and, and so that has been not just recently, but for the last decade, has been a major challenge for us. Uh, and that is a major challenge going forward. Are, are there things that the federal government can do? Is there a role for the federal government in, uh, in addressing that? Well, the federal government can help. Uh, I, I think that, that you, you, you can't, government cannot do the whole job. Government can provide the framework that uh, business and Canadian workers can make the investments and do the things that will generate that productivity growth. Government can help certainly by making investments in infrastructure, by making, helping to make those investments in human capital, and in particular, by encouraging investment in intellectual property, uh, which is the area we need to generate some real returns on to replace what will be somewhat declining uh, reliance on our exports of natural resources. So my guess is that's a, a very long-term discussion for the government. Right now, you heard that clip from the Deputy Prime Minister, Christopher Freeland. They are seized with uh, the response to COVID-19 and also how to recover from it. When you uh, anticipate or look to anticipate what we might hear from them in a throne speech and perhaps a subsequent budget, what would you identify as you know, the, the one or two most important things that they should be focused on? Well, obviously, one of the really important things is the investment in our human capital in this country, so that uh, in periods when we have workers that are either laid off or where particular industries are in decline, we what we need to do is take that opportunity uh, to make investments in training uh, and to make investments in upgrading, if you will, the skills of folks uh, in those areas. Um, I, that's that uh, on, on the human side is what we need to do. And on the physical side, of course, uh, this is an opportunity uh, which we should have been taking um, more advantage of over the past few years, but it's an opportunity today to make more investment in, uh, in the uh, infrastructure for which governments uh, are, re are responsible. And that includes 
not just the physical infrastructure out there, but the organizational infrastructure of our healthcare system and so on. As far as uh, you know, a sort of fiscal plan and, and what the government might put, put forward, there's been a lot of sort of punditry and reporting and speculation about whether or not there will be some sort of chart plan, uh, plan for the deficit or the elimination of it or whether it will be a reliance on what we've seen over the past number of years from this government as a fiscal anchor and that would be the debt to GDP ratio. Like if there'll be a sort of plot, a path plotted where that is concerned, there's even been some reporting that there might not be a fiscal anchor at all. Do you, what do you think about that? Should there be a fiscal anchor built into this, and what should it be? Well, look, what gets us into trouble fiscally is when debt service charges end rising and squeezing out the ability of government either to reduce taxes or to increase spending on things Canadians re really want. So the danger, if we don't keep, get the fiscal situation under more control, is that indeed those payments will not right tomorrow, but over time rise and end squeezing out uh, all those good activities. So uh, what I said in, in my paper is that what we should do over the next two years or two and a half years, recognizing that we have to crawl out of the COVID-induced problems at the moment, we should uh, aim to reduce uh, reduce that deficit to something in the order of, of uh, one percent of GDP three years out. But in the in the long run, what we have to do is make sure we keep our debt service payments as a share of our government revenues. We have to keep that under control. Got it. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I'm unfortunately out of time. Thank you for your time, Mr. Dodge. Pleasure to have you with us tonight. A pleasure, Vashi. David Dodge is, of course, former governor of the Bank of Canada. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.